Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we're finally starting a new region, the thorax. Before I start the thorax, it's very important for all of you to know what is the thorax by definition. Obviously, uh, in layman terms, we definitely know that it is the chest. However, in more anatomical terms, the thorax is basically the upper part of your trunk. So basically, if you know that uh, our body is basically formed by a couple of parts, the head, the neck, the trunk, the limbs, the upper limb and the lower limb. So minusing the head and neck out and minusing the lower limb and the upper limb out, we have the trunk. Now the trunk consists of the abdomen and the chest wall. Diaphragm splits this entire trunk into an upper part and a lower part. So the upper part is called the thorax. So the thorax is the upper part of your trunk. So what is the thorax bound by? The thorax is bound anteriorly by the sternum. Posteriorly, it holds the T1 to T12 vertebra. And then on either side, it has 12 ribs. So this is your entire thorax and posteriorly are the thoracic segments. Now, let's talk about the structure of the thorax, which consists of these bones, namely the vertebra, the ribs and the sternum. Let's talk about the ribs first. The ribs are basically 12 in number of which the seven upper ribs, they are connected directly to the sternum via costal cartilages. Hence, these are the true ribs. The first seven ribs are the true ribs or the vertebrosternal ribs. All right. While the eighth, ninth, tenth ribs are vertebrochondral ribs. And why? Because the eighth, ninth and tenth ribs are not connected to the sternum directly. Their costal cartilages are linked up to the higher ribs. So if this is the eighth rib, its costal cartilage is connected to the costal cartilage of the seventh rib and so on. The ninth connects to the eighth and tenth connects to the ninth. Apart from this, these three ribs known as the vertebro chondral ribs, chondral standing for cartilage. And finally, we have two ribs. These don't connect to the sternum at all. These are the floating ribs. The 11th and the 12th ribs are the floating ribs. And these just basically posteriorly are attached to the vertebra, but they only float. They do not uh, come forwards to attach to the sternum. So 11, 12 are known as the floating ribs. All of these together are known as the false ribs, while the upper seven ribs are known as the true ribs. Apart from this, the costal margin is right here. The costal margin is basically formed by the costal cartilages of the seven, eight, nine, and 10 costal cartilages of the ribs. So this is known as a costal margin, meaning the border, the cartilaginous border. So the thorax basically has a greater transverse diameter than the anteroposterior diameter. So the AP diameter, AP, meaning coming from the front to the back, is smaller than the transverse diameter that is from rib to rib. So this is important because this causes the shape of the thorax to become oval, which is in the contrary in infants. And up, kids up to two years, they, however, have a circular, completely circular, equal AP and transverse diameter thoracic cage. These are the infants and the children up to two years. 